The news headline Why I did not endorse Tinumbu during APC presidential primaries. Buari finally gives reason. Welcome to today's news. And thank you for tuning in to this channel. Now to the news details. Endeavor to listen to the end. President Momodu Buari has said he did not endorse Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu and other candidates at the presidential primaries of the APC because he did not prefer any, any of them to the order. President Momodu Buari has revealed why he did not prefer any presidential candidates to others during the premise of the ruling of Progressive Congress. The president said he had learned from past experience as he failed to become the country's leader three times until the fourth attempt through a democratic process. Buari said his refusal to appoint any candidates was inched on how he contested the presidential election three times and ended up at the Supreme Court without success, only to succeed the fourth time through a democratic process. The, sp the president spoke in Lafia during the 2023 annual, annual Sa Amadou Belu Memorial Lecture organized by the Nasarawa state governor, government in partnership with Sir Amadou Belo Memorial Foundation. According to him, President Buhari says his antecedents had taught him a lesson following his several attempts to become president. President Buhari revealed this while speaking in Lafia, the Nasarawa state capital. President Buhari urged Nigerians to keep calm and accept the outcome of the just concluded 2023 general elections. President Buhari also assured the Nigerians that the president elect Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinumbu will run an effective government when it takes over the administration of the country. The president said. Nigeria would experience effective governance under the administration of Tinumbu, noted that Tinumbu had the political pedigree and experience to achieve this by May 29, when it would take over the leadership of the country. President Buhari called for peace and stability while urging aggrieved candidates not to instigate violence and chaos among people, but to seek redress in courts through statutory and legal processes. He was represented by his chief of staff, Ibrahim Gambari, urging the Nigeria populace to accept the outcome of the 2023 elections. He also appealed to this to the disgruntled candidates to seek redress in courts. He said Amadou Belu was committed to the unity, peace, and progress of Nigeria and stood to it till his death. The president employed Nigerians to embrace his selfless service and legas, legas, legacies he left behind. President Mamadou Buhari has now declared or spoken out that he never endorsed any APC presidential candidates during the primaries. Remember that before now, President Buhari has been contesting for the presidency three times and in which he was not granted that, not until the fourth time when Tenobu stepped in. Now look at what he is saying. After he has given assurance that he has given the assurance to Nigerians that he is going to do 100% and 
and now it could not even meet up to 10% out of the 100%. The same you were giving assurance for another person, telling us that the, the president-elect will do this and that. You that could not give 10%. You should not be the one to speak in this case at all. President Bowie should just go and rest after May 29th because he once said no one can run away from his or her crime. But this is just too late because God has chosen, because the president elect has been chosen. But it can only be changed in the tribunal. So even President Mamadou Buhari knows that. The 2023 presidential election was truly rigged, and him, his party, APC, accept Nigerians to accept outcoming just like that. It is only God that can save Nigeria and Nigerians. You said you never endorsed, but now you're telling us that we should accept the president elect just like that. Bravi Wu. Who did not run his governance well for good eight years, assuring Nigerians of the next governance? Is he confused? The same way you are telling them to go to court is the same way you are affirming that Tsunubu is the president. The man that you never supported from the start. It's because you got no choice, the president. We have come to the end of the news. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Thank you.